hideous fight because it's hard to hit him. Talking to earlier tales. What's the blue thing? Angry brows. Or concentrated brows, I guess, in this case. I can't ruin that song. That song's too cool. I like that song. If I just check stuff on my computer, as you probably saw my computer screen pop up for a moment, you can now select scenes from the hero story. Good, in case I need to. You can now do the boss attack. Okay, that's really easy. You can now do more two-player battle levels. Cool. Tails Mystic Melody is or any of that crap. 
But I'll see you next time when I'm looking for that stuff. Bye. Okay, I think I did a poor job showing some of the power-ups, so I'm going to try to show them quicker. Oh, and this is the stage select screen, by the way. Ooh, whoop de doo It'll have more when we do the dark story. See you when I find the first power-up. Okay, the first power is right around here. After you do this good old whoop de doo right here, there will be those standard pole things you can swing on and some boxes on the ground. Do not swing on the pole. Well, you can, but you're going to have to go back down. So instead of swinging on the poles, we're going to take the bottom road. See these boxes? Let's kill those boxes. Right down here, where this circle was, was our power-up. It's called Magic Gloves, and it can use Magic Hand ability. Get the Y button until it says Magic Hand in the corner, and then, look, someone's dead. Die. That, that screwed up. I was supposed to throw you into the other guy. How about you die? You die with your dead friend's corpse. That's what the power does, and that's where it is. I'll show you the next one now. Okay. The next power-up's in this room. Once you get to the room with the golden beetle and the weird colored floor, you'll notice that there are bombs dropping on the floor. We need to find the power-up. The power-up can't be seen very well, so you have to go backwards. You go to this area where there's 10 more coins, and you homing attack this guy. You then homing attack that, and then that, and then you'll be next to this area. This is where Ancient Light is. Yeah, it's that ability that does that ready thing, and then you attack everything on the screen. It's not very good, and I hate it. It's probably my least favorite power-up in the game. But that's where it is, so have fun using it. Okay, that's it for Sonic's ability. Sonic's powers. I've already obtained all of his now. Let's go obtain Knuckles' two additional powers. The first one, you have to go above the lonely statue and dig into this painting with your shovel claws. And then it's right here. It's Mystic Melody. It allows you to do the same thing Sonic did when I collected Mystic Melody, which is do random shit when you're standing next to shrines and you play Mystic Melody. Woohoo. Okay, this power of Knuckles is pretty annoying to get if you don't know what you're doing. But I know what I'm doing, so it shouldn't take long to collect. Oh, and Mystic Melody, it's used for Mission 3 most of the time. Other, It's used in other times, but normally not very much. This power is basically used for Knuckles Hard Mode, and... Knuckles, I did not tell you to do a sore you can. I said, damn it, Knuckles! Bad Knuckles, this is going just as bad as when I found the power up last time. If the meteor gets broken, you just have to scroll it off screen and it'll come back. Now when you get it running, you have to punch it as hard as you can and you'll destroy that door. Then use your hammer gloves to break the box and press the button. Doing this will open up a giant pit of lava. Now that sounds like a horrible idea, but there are platforms in there and one of them has our power in it. Which I've already obtained as well. At the very bottom platform, here it is. It's Knuckles Sweet Sunglasses. Check it out. They allow you to see things that are invisible. This is basically for Knuckles' hard mode mission. Oh, and if you jump, they automatically come off, so be wary with that. Sorry that I'm a little grumpy sounding. I'm sleepy. Okay. I've already shown you how to get the other power-ups, and this is the last power-up I have to show for the heroes. This is Tails' power-up. When you get to the room that looks like this, you have to glide over here normally, and you have to climb all these things and then you can leave the room. But we're not doing that. We're going down instead. See, we have the bazooka. We're just going to bust down these iron barrels and hope we can see. Okay, there we go. And the power should be right here. This is Tails' Mystic Melody. It does the exact same thing as Sonic and Knuckles' Mystic Melody. In fact, all of the characters in the game have this power, and it always does the same thing. It opens stuff. It makes portals appear, rings appear, whatever it wants to do. You never really know what it's going to do until you've done it at least once. So that's it for all the hero's power-ups, and next time I'll show you how to A-rank everything. It doesn't take too long. Oh, God damn you, Metal Harbor. I love your level, but it's so hard to A-rank that.